Monica families, this recording is serving as my weekly state of the school. Um, starting January 31st through Saturday, um, February 6th, we will be celebrating our Catholic Schools Week. So next week, we will lay out to you all of the very um, special events that we're doing, um, of course, in a COVID safe manner, but wanting to continue to celebrate our heritage as a Catholic school. So we're excited about that. On um, February 2nd, there's a home and school meeting. We, this upcoming Wednesday, and then the following Wednesday, we of course have our weekly liturgies and then um, our virtual learning in the afternoon. February 4th is a school commission meeting at 7 p.m. There is a lovely letter from um, the Archbishop of Milwaukee in regards to Catholic education included. Um, there's some notes about from the school office about just um, dropping off materials and then just making sure that kiddos have appropriate snow gear so they can participate um, in the snow activities outside. There's an awesome insert about just safe things to do as a family during the COVID-19 pandemic. And there's also more information about registration. So if you have not registered yet, you have gone into your TADS account and clicked re-enroll and then answered a couple of questions, um, please do that because we have a handful of families that are pending registration that are new to us with a, a large number of children. And we wanna make sure that you also get your seat. So make sure that you are re-registered for next year. If you have any questions or concerns about that, you can reach out to myself or Katie Boyd. There's another dino day. Oh, hold on. Oh, yes. So there's another dino day on January 21st. So Home and School is sponsoring that. There is a need for parent lunchroom support. So today was our first day um, using the cafeteria for grades one through five. And we have it set up where kids, um, tables are spaced six feet apart and then kids are three feet apart. So we are still following those recommendations just as we would in the classroom. We're looking for volunteers to volunteer time to supervise that. And there's a very detailed outline from Home and School who's helping organizing um, those parent volunteer opportunities. And then there's a buyout option too. So play, pay close attention to that. There's a schedule in place. Um, they're also looking for, Home and School's looking for just some donations to help with their um, contribution to Catholic Schools Week for teachers. So there's an opportunity to donate some gift cards for the teachers for our daily raffle. The North Shore Catholic Schools will have a mass. We are participating virtually as a school. And then I have about three or four student volunteers that will walk over to Dominican to either be an altar server or reader. Um, so that mass will be live streamed. There's a link for you to see it as well if you'd like to. And then there's just some advertisements from area um, organizations in the weekly reminder. That's really it. Um, I just continue to feel blessed in serving the St. Monica community. It's nice to be able to slowly but surely have some parent volunteers come in specifically for lunch duty um, to start to put some names with faces. And of course, I've been on Zoom calls since July as well. But thank you for your continued patience. Thank you for your support. Um, we will be looking um, to your support again soon as we launch our annual fund campaign. So please make sure that you pay close attention to that launch. I'm excited to participate in that. Um, I'm excited to continue to share with our school community and our broader community what makes St. Monica such a special place, um, not only to invest in, but to come to as well. So please um, join me in doing that with your friends and family members in that area. I hope that you have a wonderful week. And as always, my door is open. Um, my email's there, phone call away, whatever you may need. Take care. Thank you.